Well, I lost my um, my uh, video because of my great name puppy. I was introducing you guys in the yard. Hey, what's up? So I got a little, uh, change the beard up. I got a little bit of Iron Man, Tony Stark, hopefully. Mix them with some Johnny Depp or so. Um, I'm tired as fuck, so I had to go over but Jake, great fucking video. Hey, Bubba. That's my buddy. Bubba, smile. Great day. You know what I'm saying? Hey, buddy. Say hello. And my buddy. Mm -hmm. Kiss daddy. And my Bobo. His name's Steve McQueen. I call him Bobo because he's my oh. Hey, Clarence. Never let it set, be said. No, I don't like big, strong black men. Mm -hmm. My buddy here. All right. <laughs> I'm trying to get my lap. Okay, buddy. Uh, by the way, you want to sign? I, I think we should sign him. He's a... Uh, I mean, he's 150 pounds, so in human terms, he'd probably be, uh, I don't know, 6'6", six, 6'7", six, six, maybe 280. You want to put him off the edge? What do you think? Defensive? <laughs> he's a defensive lineman. <laughs> okay, Bubba. Um, this brings up the thought. <laughs> what are we signing? <laughs> a bunch of Great Danes, babies, or an older little free agent, Jags? Okay, I'm not, I don't care. I'm paying attention. Number one. Take your videos right. I, <laughs> false optimism in, in Mariota is just absolutely insane. And I'll tell you why. Mariota has some of the best physical skills when healthy of any quarterback. I didn't look him up, but he's a blistering fast guy, blah, blah, blah. Jake, you're right. I watched Oregon, man. I didn't think he was going to do well either. He, 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 beat up, he got beat up by Tannehill. I mean, come on, dude. Tannehill was a $2 million backup, I think, wasn't it? Don't think so. And he's been injured three times. Derek Carr is a good quarterback. You don't think he could have pushed Carr? Especially under John Gruden, who loves to swap out backups. Remember Brad Johnson and back and forth? Um, bro, it's stopgap at best, and I believe it's a horrible constellation of players. Um, Deron Herman. Wow, there's over the old guy. KZ would I like, but come on, dude. This is the reason why he's cheap. <laughs> he's not elite. Um, maybe we'll get lucky, right? Um, got Daryl Hodge. Okay, I'm gonna call some motherfuckers out. I ain't gonna name it. I'll name it. Fuck it. I want to see negative Vail back. Vail, this false optimism, I just, I don't dislike, but it makes me want to vomit because I want to see negative Vail back. Vail, then, blah, this team sucks, blah, blah, blah. A few years ago, you're right. It's a rebuild. So I'm gonna go, but do me a favor. Don't move your fucking goalposts. You do that, buddy. I love you, but do me a favor, buddy. Stay in the course. I agree. So what I'm gonna tell you is I agree with you. 100%. Wait a minute. I agree with you, Val. If you stick to one point of your many points, right? And you can you come back. I don't get mad. I don't give a shit. We're friends, right? You said we need to rebuild. Don't believe the high two three. But then you change the story. So what is it? So I'm going to take one of your points that I didn't agree with. So I'm going to say, man, I think we're in a fucking full rebuild. And I'm going to tell you something else, I believe. This is not you, Bill. This is on me. I think Rich McKay's putting his dirty little hands on everything. Seriously. Guys, you remember McKay suddenly came out of the, the, the background and, you know, hell, he's through with the thing. Now he's part of the football party. Do you really think that cagey, political, been around forever motherfucker just seated his power? You think he? You don't think McKay's the microman's an asshole that doesn't care? You know I got pushed out of the Glaciers. I don't forget that. Tampa Bay. Remember? No, he got fired. What he didn't want? It. He was putting his grits, his fingers, and everything. Evidence one. If you ever read Bill Polian's uh, autobiography, look him up. Another GM that known for meddling and got too smart for his own good and pain ass. Rich McKay's his disciple. Do you know that? Rich McKay comes from lineage of. Uh, Bill Polian and and his team building philosophies and analytics and things like that that he was really, really made sense in the 90s, early 2000s, he carried over. But as we all know, I'm kind of went downhill. And one of his favorite defenses in the world, I was Tampa too, right? 4-3, um, but I'm talking about what? Steelers defense, right? Remember Steel Curtain? Dungeon came from, you know, has DT stunts, but it's only rushed for... You have a specific mm -hmm. physical attribute that fits each layer of the defense. It tends to be smaller, lighter players, right? Speed kills. You see that shit again on those rosters. Um, you really do. Um, I and Blake's known McKay, how many years now? Come on, dogs. We talked about what? Twenty something years now? 
I mean, you think McCain went back and faded, faded in the limelight? Y'all are fucking not that naive. And I'll be honest with you, I think I see a lot of McKay in the decisions being made. Um, I see a lot of blank too. Obviously, I think Jed or, or, or Lethal, right? I think Lethal, one of y'all, or maybe multiple. Yeah, you know, the whole push for Watson and the whole fuck up and the whole public relations like that, right? That's characterization 100% blank. But let's not forget, McKay is one of the biggest ass kissers in the fucking universe, which is why they wanted him to become a commissioner. Do you know that? Because he is. And McKay is a, make no mistake, smart guy. But McKay is archaic, dude. He drafts Croy fucking Beermans. Rico fucking Allens. TD, by the way, was of McKay's lineage and Polian's lineage far more than he was of Belichick's. I don't know if you knew that. Uh, Belichick's hired him. And Belichick has a variety of guys. You know that. But um, Pioli was the Belichick disciple, right? Notice those bear we got out of Piola? Wow, what a weird. Dude, I'm telling you, look at these fucking low jag ass signs. Look at this built through the draft. Reclamation. What the fuck are we doing? I mean, come on, let's just get through the signs. Right? Let's give me at this. And dude, come back at the heart. Again, Vail. Vail, go negative Vail, buddy. You're doing the plays, you're doing diagram. Look, go negative fucking Vail. I want to see that Vail. I want that angry Vail back, dude. Get on it, boy! Let's start doing some Oklahoma drills up in this bitch. Honestly, I'm getting excited. We're ready to go. And no, I'm not on cocaine, but I am fucking hungover and it's a beautiful day and my hair looks flies and I got Tony Stark built. So bad, right? So humor aside, bad humor too, right? Um, what are we doing? Cadaveral Hot? Undrafted free agent. Jack, 18 years. <laughs> Big deal. Kyle Pitts was a classic analytic pick. Good pick, BPA. Okay, fine. Excusable. Go through the rest of that draft. Tell me how excited you are. I mean, see how many RAS scores started making up? Really? I like RAS scores, right? But are they everything? Declan Graham? Um, I mean, come on. Let's keep going, dogs. Let's be real. I mean, what I'm saying, and, and then what we got in our free, oh, we re-signed CP. CP, bro, I love CP. Good price. Bargain, right? But you think defense ain't going to scheme better for him than a whole year of tape? I mean, come on. CP got more opportunities here he got that year. They probably got his whole fucking career. I mean, seriously. Let's just put that out there. You think they ain't game planning for him? How many times the defense has evolved in game plan for a threat the next year? All the fucking time. What the fuck is Jerron Harmon? Another has been great name, no sign. Emphasis on veteran leadership. You notice this shit? The captain shit. Why does it still persist? Does this look like a Loomis roster? Fuck no, it did. Did TDs look like a Belichick roster? Fuck no, it did. Who's it look like? It looks like Rich fucking McKay and Bill Pulliam. High flying quarterback. Spencer wide receivers. Cheap on my fucking D line, right? You know, cheap on every defender possible. Bargain hunting, right? Get lucky. One with Greg, the rest was shit. Srask or Rico fucking Allen's everywhere. I mean, he's a classic. I see the same shit. Terrell, a good Terrell. Check, great. Grady, we got lucky. Here. Let's just cut the shit. Debo, Rascor guy. Out of here. Boy, Rascor. Boom, out of here, right? Keep going on those drafts. What are we doing? What are we signing? Even Casey Hayward, right? I like Casey, right? But you know what? Casey ain't getting my two year deal. Casey are getting old, bro. He long in the tooth, man. Come on, dog. You just see any contenders beating down his fucking door? the fuck, bro? Come on. Let's be real. Let's see that bell. Bell, get on me, baby. You in the circle, man. You know Coleman Joe. Bust that bitch up. Hit him in the bow. We are in a rebuilding year with nobody at the fucking helm. Nobody at fucking helm. And then you got this blank in front. Did you notice that? Oh, we need to go get o -Lyman. So We go draft two o because blank says so. I'm just telling you, this fucking team is not impressing me. This ASTF or not impress me. Maybe you're impressing me in terms of you did squeeze seven wins versus four wins last year, Arthur Smith. But you know what? You ain't bring the mark of great leaders, the mark of people in charge of me are taking what they have learned empirically, known, academically, and bringing to them. Do you see this Tennessee Titan offense, right? I'm not saying yet. Yeah, maybe we will. But do you see it? Do you see 
the hallmarks, the earmarks of the fucking Saints teams. I mean, they took some risky ass characters to say, some of them motherfuckers can't even run. They don't care. That's not a Loomis team. I see Rich fucking McKay, Arthur Bugger Smith, Arthur Smith, Arthur Blank's bullshit all over the place. The only, and you know, even the fucking Sean Watson, you know, here, here's Blank's problem. We got to sell tickets, baby. I'll buy that. Rome down, boy. They're going to build up the billboards about how to fucking, you know, sell out the farm, show the fucking hand, go after Deshaun, give him a bargaining point to go back to Cleveland because he was a fucking ball boy because it's okay to skip the Falcons filter if I can mark it. Well, I get marketing. And you know what? Let's just talk about Blank. Do you know Blank was pushed out by his own fucking partner? You know why? Because Blank is a dilettante marketing guy. He's good. But he becomes annoying. He was bought out by Bernie, whatever his name was. This is cut to shit. Who, by the way, his partner brought Home Depot to what it is. We have a bunch of idiots in charge. And while AS and TS may be good, bro, they sit in... Right now, T.S. is in that Oklahoma drill. He needs to bust McKay in a motherfucking mouth. And you need to put Smith in. He buzz him twice. And y'all need to kick fucking blank in the ball. Say, build your team to your cat. T.F., you're a good scout. Great scout. You work for a genius. You did. Arthur Smith, you know what time it is. Bring it on, baby. Come on. Bring that, bring that wise on. Run that ball. Give me a running back, motherfucker. Give me a running back. Then I might talk to you. I don't see it good right now. Uh, are we going to be okay? Yeah, I'll tell you what. You know, you know what McKay's good at? Build a 7, 9, 10. Now 7, 10. He's good at that. Look all his years. They got 9, 7, 7, 9. You know, and honestly, when they won the Super Bowl. Y'all remember that shit? Oh, when was it again? When McKay got fired. When, when, I'm sorry. When they moved on from Dungey as a disciple and Gruden came to fuck in and managed the fucking club. I mean, right? They opened the doors, got more. I'm just telling you. I don't, I'm not a McKay fan. Polian became a joke toward him. And let me tell you something. Handling your veteran quarterback that way is inexcusable. Hall of Famer. And two, you pissed him off, put him in the corner. And you got a fucking third. I think OVU said best. Got fucking third. You get how many seconds for fucking Carson Wentz? But fine, you want to move on with him? Don't give me a shit Mariota has a chance. So you know what? Let's put out quarterbacks. Mar uh, Malik, back to Malik, possible. Ritter, uh, what'd you say, uh, Jason? <laughs> looks 43. He does look old as fuck, dude. Um, Pickett, I'm fascinated by, but I think your boy had a great point. He had a lot of fumbles. Um, not a god. You put a guy there named Jack Cohen, uh, Notre Dame, and I'm not excited, but Jack Cohen, if there was going to be a Tom Brady in draft, it'd be Jack. I don't know how I got started watching Jack. Let I me mean, I mean, change the side. Jack Cohen is one of the best field marshals I've ever seen. And he's not an athlete per se, but he's athletic for the position. And he makes all right. He really does galvanize his team. I love him. Um, so, guys, what I'm saying, I got to cut short to my wife. So she's going to be all pissed at my partners here. And she's got me some Taco Bell. It's a, cheat, it's a cheat day, by the way, Jason. Hey, Jason, notice you can see my jawline again. Thank you for the diet tip. Y'all, this team ain't got no direction. TF and AS got balls up. Because I think we're looking at another seven. Hey, look, we get nine wins. Fine. You satisfied with that shit? So you throw the baby out of the bathroom. You get rid of Matt Ryan. You know, Grady, at this point, do something, right? Extend him or trade him. And sign me something. <laughs> sign me something. Don't come with me. We are doing well. We're not doing well. Lorenz Carl, another guy. Five, I mean, four or five years in the league. A lot of potential. Rad score great, right? Rad score great. Analytics. He's done shit. All right, so I'm not with this team. I mean, if you like mediocre, go for it. But I'm not going to kiss ass and say this is a great team. Bell, I'm not calling you out, buddy. I'm trying to get you pissed off because I like your input. That's when you're mean, Bell. All right, boys. Y'all kick me up. Come on back. Y'all can throw them darts up because I got the motherfucking Iron Man. Iron Man, bitches. Put them missiles here, baby. I got my armor on. Let's get it rocking. All right. Guess what? Jed, you in the motherfucking center. Bring it on, baby. Oklahoma drill. Hoorah. We ain't doing the Navy. Let's do something, Packers. Make your fans believe. But right now, I've been mad for too long. I'm executive, by the way, just so you didn't know. And night of God, you can vouch this for him, Clarence. <coughs> Bro, who's on first? Who's running the game? Who's style? I ain't nobody. I see McKay. 
You little fucking creepy old man fingers all over this shit. Fuck you, McKay. Go back to the building and say it. Guess what? You can't feel it now. So fuck y'all too. Matt Ryan, I'm now an Indianapolis Colt fan. Salmon out. Bye.